Road repairs in San Diego are suffering from a lack of funding, and that shortfall is only expected to get worse. Good evening, and thanks for joining us. I'm Marcella Lee. I'm Carlo Chiquetto. Jesse's off tonight. That was the finding of a recent grand jury report, which also found the city of San Diego needs to do a better job in planning for future repairs. CBS 8's Richard Allen is live along Convoy Street in Kearney Mesa with more on how the city is responding. Richard. And Carlo and Marcella, one of the street repair projects here on Convoy Street is underway right now. And while this is much needed progress, this new grand jury report finds that since 2015, the city's street maintenance needs have not been fully funded and that the overall condition of roads has declined. And those are findings that the city is not disputing. You can uh, bend a rim, you can uh, have a flat tire but with some of these potholes. Uh, it's atrocious. We can't afford to pay for car repairs because our streets are so awful. <laughs> it's, it's bad. This recent county grand jury report confirms as much, finding that road repairs in San Diego are plagued by a worsening shortfall in funding and poor planning. And I think we can all agree in San Diego that our street condition is not up to, to the state of what we'd like to see. Council member Kent Lee is chair of the city's active transportation and infrastructure committee, which today took up this grand jury report. One of the report's recommendations, which the city rejected, is to pass a law which would commit San Diego to a minimum amount of annual funding from the general fund for road repairs until the overall condition of city roads are good. In its response to the grand jury's report, though, the city says that recommendation will not be implemented because it's not warranted, explaining that tying specific amounts of future general fund dollars to one program limits the ability of the city's decision makers to fluctuating revenues and future funding needs. Lee points out that in the most recent budget, Mayor Todd Gloria allocated more than $100 million in street repairs, which has helped fund repair work on long neglected areas like Gold Coast Drive in Mira Mesa. I don't think there is really just a minimum amount that is needed. I think we, we know that there's actually a larger amount period um, that we have to invest. The report also recommends that the city create a comprehensive rolling five-year repair plan that would include every city street, which the city says it plans to do in the future. We've seen an improvement in the number of streets we've been able to get to, the potholes are filling. There's always significantly more work to do. And for more information on how to report a pothole or other street issue to the city, just go to CBS8.com, click on the help button. Also, if you want to take a look at this entire grand jury report for yourself, you can also head to CBS8.com. Just go to the online version of this story. Carlo and Marcella. Richard, earlier this year, the city of San Diego said it was launching a survey of all city streets to assess their conditions. What's the status of that report? Well, Carlo, that's actually the first survey of every single street in the city of San Diego since 2016. It's actually looking at everything from how deep a pothole is on a given street to how smooth a road is. Now, we're supposed to get the results of that survey later on this fall. Council Member Lee told me that survey is going to be critical, not only in assessing the overall condition of our roads here in San Diego, but also prioritizing which street repairs need to be done first. Yeah, and Carlo? after that exceptionally wet winter that we had with all the rain. They're just uh, in horrible condition, the worst I've seen in a couple decades. So we'll keep an eye on that. Thanks so much, Richard. <laughs>